Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I lately got a question about how to change the color of my assets in my asset pack. Uh, and they're good news and they're bad news. Let's start with the good news. It's actually very, very easy. Um, and I'll just show you why. Uh, here, as you can see here, we are in my animated hot elements folder. Uh, and here's a folder called flip material. So if you go in here, you already see we have different colored materials um, and all you basically need to do is you right click on here on the on the matte flipbook this is a master material you create a material instance um, and this one we call I don't know health 2 or something now it doesn't matter because here we already have I already created some so we have here health and as you can see it's red then we have stamina for, for uh, yellow. Um, and here we can basically create different kind of uh, colors for our assets. Um, and now what we can do, let me just go in here and let's say we take a pie. Oh no, maybe not the pie, let's, uh, let's take rings, I like the rings. And now what we can do is we can open this up, make it smaller. And we disable the grid to have it a bit more cleanly displayed right here. Uh, let's see, make it a bit bigger, like here. Uh, and now if we go back to our flip material, the one we created newly, we uh, select the material and set this uh, material right here for this. And now we open our, our material. And now if you open this up, you have here a hue saturation and tint and we just take that and now as you can see if I change the hue the material uh, will change the color of the flipbook and it will only affect the colored part of my flipbook okay and I can do the same with saturation so if it's one uh, it's basically gray um, I can also say I use tint and that tints uh, everything, so um, it kind of like uh, gives different results, basically. So this basically tints the the white parts, and now I can still, you know, go in here and change the saturation or the hue, uh, and and you know, like uh, it's a bit like uh, you have to kind of like find your settings. But with these three in combination you can do a lot of stuff to change the appearance of my flipbook. Okay, so that's the good news. It's really, really easy. Um, and I can also show you now the not so good news, but I will gonna show you a, a, a workaround and I also uh, tell you what I will do to fix that in the future. So if we go now here and we say that we have the ring, and we put it in the world, it's a bit big now, let's uh, make it a bit smaller, but you can also see already. Um, so, and now let's go into details, go back to our materials, and if I apply a material now, it works, right? So, it works that the color changes depending on what material I have, um, and that's a good news. It means whenever you place uh, these flipbooks in the world that they are not on your HUD, it's very easy to change the color. Okay? Bad news is, if you want to put it on an actual HUD with a plugin, I recommend it. Um, it works that you can put them on the HUD, but the material will not work on the flipbook while it is in uh, a widget. Okay? Uh, I, I, at the moment, I try to find out to find a workaround how to change that. But I will uh, like a proper workaround. But what I will do now is first of all, this month, I will rework some of my um, assets to have more color variations. For example, this one um, I will probably do in blue, yellow, and green as well. Uh, so a, a lot of these widgets will have a, a different color variations like you already have here uh, so that you can actually use them in your hut properly. Um, but another workaround I want to show you today is what I personally use in my games and I, I'm going to show you how you can use it for your games as well. 
um, because it's actually a really nice way to integrate your HUD into your games. And let me show you this by pressing play. As you can see now, we have played and this is my character. And as you can see, I used the same circles we had before on the back of my character. And if, for example, if I sprint now, I hope you can see it on the quoting, um, the, the widget will basically um, drain my stamina and it will be shown in the HUD on the back of my character. And how I did this is very simple. I basically just added a component called the flipbook. So the same thing you would add to your HUD to my character here. And depending on where you put it, it will basically stick to that part. That means in my case, I put it behind the character mesh. Uh, uh, it's right here and I put it on the back. But I could also very easily take all these things and put it in front of the camera. So that I take these and basically drag them as a child of the camera. And then I could position them right in front of the camera like you would do a HUD. That's kind of like a workaround if you want to have very special colors for your uh, for your widgets. Um, and here is basically how I update them. And what you can also do, I'll show you this here. If, if I would connect this uh, right here, let me do that real quick. So we connect this here. And basically everything that does is it changes the opacity of my widgets depending of the percentage of uh, the value I, uh, I have. So health, stamina, hydration, and shield. Uh, and basically the higher the percentage, the less visible my, my hut will be. Let me show you if I connect it all. As you can see here now, they're vanishing. Um, and only if I get rid of my stamina by uh, sprinting, as you can see, the, my widget will be more and more visible, okay? That's kind of a workaround, and yes, as I said, I will work a lot on this asset this month. There will also be a, a third version of it, so there will be a lot of new um, flipbooks coming, and I will rework some of the existing uh, flipbooks to have more color, color variation for you to use, so that you can actually use them also in the HUD without problem, and I will also try to connect with the maker of the of the plugin for the flipbooks and see if he has an idea how we can actually use these material in the flipbook in the HUD itself um, so that we don't need to do this workaround. Okay, so I hope this quick tutorial helps. And yeah, any questions, just call me up and uh, have fun.